So we've hidden this element, but let's find out how we can actually reveal a hidden element as well. So let's just go in here real quick. Now I'm not going to put anything in a separate CSS style sheet like I normally would, uh, just to keep everything really nice and simple and visible all at once. So we'll just do h1 display none. So when we go to our page and we refresh, it's hidden. We're going to change this back to text. So it's referencing our h1 tag. And instead of hide, we're going to change this to show. So we'll save it. Refresh, click me, and then it shows. Click again and nothing else happens. So what we could do is, let's say we want to hide and show it. One way we could go about doing that is simply copying this. Now let's make sure we get that comment in there too. Pasting it down there. We'll say show this element. All right, so we have this here. We need to add another button. We'll just grab this, paste it. Let's change this class to hide and this one to show. Change the text inside of it as well. Dot show, dot hide is clicked. We'll show it and we'll save it. Refresh, hide, show, hide, show, and then it just goes back and forth. All right, so that's one way that we could go about doing this, but there's actually an easier way. So we're gonna go back to the code. We're gonna delete this one right here. We'll delete this too. We'll just change it to button and click me. We'll go back to button right here. And instead of dot show, we're gonna change it to toggle. Think of this as toggling a light on and off. We go back, we'll refresh, and it's working now all with one button. 